me this time. If you uh, go ahead and uh, imagine heat building in your right palm. Just look at your palm, and your eyes are like magnifying glasses, magnifying the heat from your body. Your stomach is like a bellows. As you breathe in, you're fanning the flames. As you breathe out, you're magnifying the heat from your body into your right hand. Your right hand building energy and heat. Come on, I know you can do this. You have a hot body, so just do this. Imagine the heat building as a golden yellow flame in your right hand. Concentrate. The more you magnify the heat, the hotter it gets. You feel the heat building in your hand. Imagine it as a golden yellow flame, a ball of flames in your hand, golden yellow colors. And when it gets hot enough, you feel the flame, the heat building. You can feel it in your fingers, in your palm. Now, since it's hot enough, I need you to raise your shirt, please. Place your palm right on top of your navel and push your fingers against your stomach. Shoot the golden yellow energy into your body. What you're doing is stimulating the spleen meridian. Spleen functions help with digesting different foods. It also helps with mentally and digesting different ideas. But you didn't know that all the different organs help mentally with different things to an idea. And since we're going to talk about food anyway, let's uh, stimulate the spleen. Let's talk about the food that you like. Do you ever go into a market, you know, just to do some shopping? You don't have a list, but you decide to see what happens. And you, well, as you go along, you're getting what you really want because you know what you really need. When suddenly you find yourself drawn to certain things, I don't know what those things are. Those things you're really drawn to that make you feel all impulsive to grab them and give you that sense of thrill and giggle on the inside as you just... Allow yourself to give in and surrender to the impulse. And let go because you know that impulse is guiding you to something. Something that can help you with that unspecified craving that can only be fulfilled by surrendering. And when you do allow that to happen, it always somehow gives you just the right thing you need. It's like you see this and all of a sudden, this is right in front of your face, is what uh, your mind and body have been telling you to have. Now with me, I find that's so great to satisfy those unspecified cravings and longings by surrendering and being guided by this voice inside you that tells you what you need. You know, one of the other things I like about the market is discovering something new. Maybe you've gone for an exotic international food. You figure that your tongue can handle it. You're matured enough to handle strange flavors. You're an adult, so you're complex. Like your food, you deserve complexity and diversity. After all, you always have a special place reserved on your taste buds for strange, new, wonderful flavors. It's like that new complexity fills a hidden void deep inside of you, where you might say, hmm, that's what was missing. You feel that hidden craving being fulfilled by that wonderful new complexity. You've always wondered, haven't you? You've known that exotic treat was there, but afraid to try it. Maybe you're concerned about what your friends might say about your desires. 
Then, when you took that leap of faith and tried that special treat, it earned a loving place on your palate and your sensitive taste buds. Isn't it just great when you find something new that appeals to you and it allows you to break out of that rut, the same old stuff you always get? Isn't it terrific to think that somewhere out there is a person whose job it is to hook you and make you feel wonderful, who shares the same values and qualities and desires, and how that someone that can cause you to respond with a yes, that's what I want, that's what I've been looking for. That's the exact flavor I've always wanted so bad. Then you know you're hooked. When it happens like that, well, you just love it. Now, another thing that's interesting is how sometimes you go to the market and you get that feeling that you're forgetting something. And you stop and you go inside and Try to imagine what it is you need that uh, you remind yourself to get, and then you, you just see yourself at home later going, Oh, yeah, that's what it was. I should have known at the time that this is what I need. So then you put yourself in that super aware, hypersensitive, stimulated mind pattern. <laughs> You know, when you just, when you, <laughs> when you just open up and allow all those little things you need in the back of your mind to bubble up. So, that when you do come across it, you grab it without even thinking and allow that bubble of forgetfulness to just pop. Because at that time in the future, you'll be looking back on this moment as having been the one where you finally got what you had and reminded yourself to get it. You can see how the market is a place of unlimited opportunity. A place where you can fulfill the cravings and longings that build up. And uh, like I said, there are so many wonderful experiences. You can notice that the uh, absolute best feeling is... With me, now, every now and then you go in you know this is exactly what you want. You go inside. There is no deviating, no distraction, no wandering. Nothing but this in your mind. You go inside, right to that place where you know it is. You find what you really want. You grab it and go. Yeah, that's me. And I like that. You can pat yourself on the back for being a person who can go for it. And with me, there's nothing better than that feeling of mission accomplished. When your mind and body work together and focus in on getting what you really want. Hmm. So what kind of Japanese food do you like? You like sushi? I like eel. It's prepared just right. Yeah, yeah, of course I like you, Bobby. <laughs> uh, not sashimi. I'm in a little trouble with sashimi.